Assalamu alaikum friends today i am going to present the topic of elective operation this elective operation procedure has become standard for transforming many different types of bacteria friends it is same as transformation transformation is a natural process where elective operation is an artificial method what is elective operation elective operation is basically the uptake of free dna or you can say if induce the dna into the bacteria by subjecting that bacteria to a high voltage electric field in the presence of dna in transformation the same phenomena is occurred but it occurs naturally that the bacteria takes up the exogenous dna or you can say free dna from the environment but in electroporation we induce that desired gene or dna into our desired cell so this process is called electroporation it is also called electropermeabilization friends the descriptive phase of electroporation is electric field mediated membrane permeabilization friends this is basically the actual electroporator which is used for the process of electroporation now we have to see that what actually happens in that appliance we have inserted a qubit inside the appliance you can see over here diagrammatically i am trying to explain the whole phenomena what actually occurs in uh, in that appliance of electroporator this is a qubit you can see over here this qubit is maybe of plastic or glass with the aluminum electrodes on both of its sides friends the self suspension which is pipetted in this qubit is nearly of 50 microliters and the suspension uh, consists of bacterial cells and plasmids it has to be transformed friends what actually we do we inserted that qubit we this is actually qubit if we inserted this qubit into the electroporator appliance then the voltage in the capacitance are set after electroporation nearly 1 ml of liquid enters into the bacteria and then we incubate it that tube at optimum temperature nearly for an hour what the purpose the purpose is for the recovery of cells this is basically the whole phenomena now we have to see what actually happens to the cell that the bacteria take or you can we can say the dna induced into the bacteria or get enter into the bacteria basically friends after the application of threshold potential it disturbs the bacterial phospholipid bilayer membrane which results in the formation of these spores you can see over here friends it lasts for few microseconds then the expansion of pore size takes place for micro milliseconds depending on the pulse duration then the membrane is recovered and the pores are resealed that lasts for several minutes friends when temporary pores are formed then the electric potential across the cell membrane simultaneously rises to allow charged molecules like dna to be driven across the membrane through the pores in a manner similar to electrophoresis friends you can see over here there is a plant cell we remove the cell wall then it converts into the protoplast we have to induce this foreign dna into that protoplast then we perform the whole process of electroporation that we apply the electric field over here it disturbs the phospholipid bilayer membrane allows the dna to gets entered to the cell okay now that chromosome you can say dna gets entered into the nucleus in this way we perform the whole method of electroporation friends there are certain advantages and disadvantages of this method and what are advantages it can be applied with any type of cell so it is versatile friends it is rapid and very easy it is very high efficient process and very low amount of dna is required 
and in through this method we will be able to operate in living organisms friends it is able to transfect a large number of cells in a very short period of time when optimum electroporation conditions are determined but there are certain disadvantages of this method as well substantial cell death caused by the high voltage application and only partially successful membrane prepares that's why it requires the use of greater quantities of cells compared to the chemical transfection method and the disadvantage is that, that it is a non specific transport of molecules into and out of the cell friends this is the whole process of electroporation hope you understand it very well if you have any query then please comment in the comment box i will resolve your query we'll meet in my next video up till then allah hafiz